Hello everybody, this uh, it's a tutorial about the article uh, using test drive development to understand the model view control in ribbon rails. So as you know, uh, ribbon on rails uh, using a model controller and view uh, to create it to, to dealing with the, the code. So we're going to build an app and write the test first to go through the, the model, view, and controller to understand them. So let's start and create a new app. Before we create an app, make sure you set up uh, your machine with uh, uh, Ruby and, and Rails. Type in Rails server. OK, so now uh, the server is running. So in the local host 3000, uh, here we go. We have the app in working. Let's open the app in the VS Code. I'm gonna open the terminal here. Okay, now we can start in, uh, working uh, on the tutorial. Uh, since we are working with the test first, so let's go to the gem file and install the rxpect go uh, in a gem file in the group test and I did let's add the gem rxpect rails To install the gem, run the bundle. After install, uh, let's uh, generate a folder with the files, the test file. Okay, now, uh, good. So, as you can see, now we have a folder called aspect with the files to setting, to setting, but we don't need it to change anything here. Uh, let's continue with the tutorial. Uh, since we are testing features, so let's let's go and create a folder called features. And let's create a, a, a file called books uh, expect.rb. Uh, here is uh, how you use it to, you need to use uh, this uh, to, to run the test properly. Okay, so uh, here let's create a folder and inside uh, since we were created testing for so let's create a file called books okay here is the code uh, here it's a code that we are testing the first page of our, our app it will be the book page where we will find the, a list of uh, books with the title and author and also um, a link to create a new book. Uh, let's save. Basically, uh, here let's change it for, for now. Let's use uh, as the tutorial said. Visit the slash. So here is the root. For the, the first page of a book that we will, we will need to see, we want to see uh, the name of the book, the author, and a link called new book. Uh, since we didn't add nothing, just the test, uh, we will expect to have an, a, a, an error. And so let's go to the tutorial and run the test. Okay, good. Now we have the first testing fail as we expect. And we, because we don't have any constant initialized book, we don't have the model book. Uh, here is the M of the MVC. So now uh, what we have to do is create a model called book. So let's do it. So let's use the common to generate. Rail generate 
model book we can add, we let's add it a title as a string and an author as a string i'm using no test framework because since we are creating our own tests we don't need the rails automatic create a folder to test it for us so let's run it. good uh, since we are creating a database so we need to migrate Perfect. Now let's run the test again and see what the error will say to us. So as you can see uh, in the error, we have no roots that met. So the controller, uh, neither the controller. So the controller, we don't have any, don't have the root. So they don't find the, the path uh, properly to go and visit the page. The same as we are following the since we are following the tutorial so now let's configure the root to to receive that path that we just added in our app so let's add here and now we can run the test again so here is the arrow uh, missing the controller so is the C in MVC. So we are missing the controller. So following the tutorial now, let's generate a controller called books. Uh, before I generate, I just want to make sure I understand the, the, the hoots here. Uh, here, when we create the hoots, here it's uh, the name of the controller we're gonna use and the method. Okay, so, so now let's create a a controller called books so let's create it and since we don't have a let's use no test again because we don't want to create a new folder for testing good so now we have a, a controller so let's test again here we go, we have in the error now, we don't have any action call index because we don't have the method call index that we use here in the root. So following the tutorial, so let's create a, a method call here in the controller books, let's create a method call index. Can leave it empty. Let's save and run again the test. So the error is saying we are missing the template because we are missing the V, the view of the MVC. So let's uh, go to the tutorial. Uh, we are missing the view. So let's create a simple view for uh, our app. So let's go to the view books. Uh, create a new file and now so let's let's add a simple view simple template so here I put the name of the title and the author and a link to new book so let's save and let's test again great now we have no error the test pass but the test pass because I what I type here was uh, the name of the book that I that I choose and the author and the link. Uh, but I don't want this. I want that my data come from a database. So I want something uh, more dynamic. Uh, so what we can do is to go to the books controller, and here we can create a variable to hold our data. Like these books. So here will be a string with all all the books that we will create uh, for our our app uh, our app. Let's also change our uh, index HTML. Let's add this something that will become more dynamic. So here uh, we're going to through the array books that we just created the variable. 
uh, and and having the book title and the book author to display and also the new book link. So let's run the test again. See it's everything's still working. Good. Uh, everything passed. So now um, let's uh, continue. Uh, because with that with data that we are testing is not from the database. We are running so if you open the server, you see uh, now we, we are this code it, it's showing for us no books because we didn't add it any books no books uh, in your uh, database so let's uh, keep it going in the article so now what you need you need the the method new so then we were able to create a books and feed our database so as we uh, since we are working a test first let's create a test uh, we call a new uh, book expat uh, rb uh, let's create a new file here let's add a, a test uh, here we can change this title because here we we are expecting the title and the author let's save uh, before we testing this, uh, let's go to the root again. Uh, now we, we are going to create a new root. So let's first uh, use uh, the, the book index, index as, a, as a root. Uh, uh, okay. I'm not ad adding a, a, a root for the new method. So I'm just set setting up again the, the one that I already have here let's change this for the one that we just added just let's test this before we test the new uh, test let's test this one first to see if it's still working good yes good everything it's it's working good so now we can test the new one so here we go, the test failed because we don't have the root that met with the method get there we created for book new. So let's go to the root and add. Okay, now we have it and let's test it again. I guess uh, it will complain about the controller again. As we expect, we have a no controller method for new. So you can see that we starting over again with the same arrows. And so let's go to the controller. Uh, if you follow in the tutorial, now let's create a new method called new that we are missing. We don't need to, we can leave it empty. But if you want something dynamic in the future, we need to to create a, a, a instance, a variable that will hold the data, right? But for now, let's leave like that and run the test again. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, here is the arrow, the arrow, the test fail, and because we are missing the, the view, we are missing the template. So now we need to create a, a form that have a, a field to create a new a title and, and author and then we create a and a link to create a book so i hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that it can help you for understand the rails and you're gonna uh passing uh for these arrows if you create a uh, the method to update destroy uh, create all the methods that we usually have in, in rails in a regular app we are going to go to the same uh, process so thank you for watching uh, happy coding <laughs>